if you are looking for a private PC and also looking for AMD components, this is going to be the right video for you. But before starting, I want to say that on the private PC market is the opposite as the PC build market, where Nvidia is the best in terms of price to performance. On the PC build market, I highly recommend you picking AMD GPUs. On the private PC market, I recommend you going with Nvidia. I will explain why throughout this video, and I will also give you different PCs for different budgets with AMD components. If you're interested on Nvidia private PCs, you will have my video about the best Nvidia private systems in the top right of the screen. That being said, let's start. Now with the first one, we have one that has an Nvidia GPU and that is going to be a bonus. This is because it came out recently and I think that this is the best deal on the market for a brand new budget PC. It's 500 dollars and it comes with the Ryzen 5 3600 and the GTX 1660 Super alongside 16 gigs of RAM and 500 gigs of SSD. We are talking about the legacy mini from Skytech. You will have the link to this one down below in the video description as well with every other computer that I'm about to mention. This is a great PC for a starter gaming PC and there's literally no game that you can't run at 1080p even the high demanding ones 60 plus fps on average now let's move into the next one with the first official amd pc we have a 576 dollars hp pavilion gaming desktop from amazon with the ryzen 5 5600 g for the cpu and the amd radeon rx 5500 for the gpu this is a really decent 1080p computer for an affordable price however the one that i mentioned previously the one with an nvidia gpu is going to outperform this system and it's actually cheap and more upgradable. However, if the first system is not on sale anymore or it's out of stock, this is a really good deal considering it's a nice 1080p decent PC. For esports titles such as Valorant and Fortnite, this is a great PC and even for games like GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2, you will be able to run this at 1080p 60 plus FPS on average high settings. Down the line, I do recommend you upgrading the RAM to 16 gigs to increase your gaming performance and your SSD to at least 500 gigs of SSD that way you can download more games with the next one for 750 bucks we have the Skytech Blaze 2 this one comes with the i5 11400F for the CPU and the RX 6600 for the GPU you also get 16 gigs of RAM and 500 gigs of SSD so no need for an upgrade down the line here maybe you can upgrade the storage if you feel like one terabyte is going to be what you need however like I mentioned this PC comes with the Radeon 6600 which is a great 1080p budget GPU right now and this system is better than the first one that I mentioned but of course it's more expensive. With the 6600 you can play at 1440p if we are talking about esports titles. I wouldn't recommend this system for 1440p every single game but if you only play esports titles you can actually get a 1440p 144hz monitor without having FPS issues. For 1080p you can run every single game high FPS even at high settings. With the next one we have the Big Tools 15L with the RX 6600 XT and the Ryzen 7 5700G with 16 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte of hard drive and 500 gigs of SSD. This is my favorite on the list because you get the RX 6600 XT which is better than the 6600 and you can use this for 1440p and for more games than just esports titles. Any game that you want at 1440p you can play it 60 plus FPS on average but of course it's going to depend on the settings. One thing I love about this system is that you get plenty of storage storage, enough RAM and a really good CPU to pair this GPU with. So no bottlenecks, for $1000 you are getting a great system that I've been recommending for months now. With the next one for $1300 we have the Empowered PC from Amazon. It comes with the RX 6700XT and the Ryzen 7 5700X alongside 32 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of SSD and 2 terabytes of hard drive. Here you get even more storage, a better CPU in the 5700X, more RAM so if you're thinking of a streaming I think this one is the best one on the list in terms of price to performance. The RX 6700XT is really similar to the RTX 3060 Ti you can still use it for high FPS 1080p gaming but I would recommend you buying a 1440p monitor for this GPU. It's a really nice overall system that can be used for content creation as well even though for content creation I recommend you going with an Nvidia GPU. One thing I really like about this PC is the all black design, it's really clean and it's going to look amazing on your desk. 
With the next one, we have one from Newegg. We are talking about the Bellstorm Ferox 2 with the i9-11900K and the RX 6800XT, which is really similar to the RTX 3080 in terms of rasterized performance. On the Newegg power bar, you can see how it's going to perform at 1440p, 1080p and 4K resolution. I recommend you this system for either high FPS 1440p or 4K resolution. I wouldn't buy this PC for 1080p, you would be wasting your money. And with the best one, on the list we have the Kronos 2 from Skytech. This one comes with the Ryzen 7 7700X which is the latest AM5 platform. You also get the RX 7900XTX which is the best GPU available from AMD right now. You get 32 gigs of DDR5 memory and a 360 all-in-one liquid cooler. Everything here from the airflow to the performance is the best that you can get from AMD. Yes, maybe you can get a better CPU like the Ryzen 9 7900X but if we are talking about gaming you are not going to notice any differences. I do recommend you buying this system for 4K gaming. I wouldn't buy it even for 1440p as you are wasting money by going with a lower resolution than 4K here. Down below you can see the FPS average for 1080p and 1440p but I don't know why Skytech doesn't show you the 4K FPS average as those are going to be the most important for you. Anyway, this PC can run every single game at 4K, is one of the best on the market available right behind the RTX. 4090 PCs and right next to the 4080 ones. If you have a budget of around $3,000 and you want an AMD based system, this is the one to go with. But if you want the best price to performance PC that is actually better for content creation, then I recommend you watching my video about the best private PCs for the month of March 2023. There you will see the best price to performance PCs even for high end budgets like $3,000 to $4,000. So please consider watching that video before buying any of these systems as you will get a better performance in most cases. If you have any questions leave a comment and I will try to reply as fast as possible even if it's for a PC build or a pre-built PC. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for your support and I will see you on the next one.